Hello my friend, in this video I am going to show you how you can contact DistroKid if they have a phone number and give a quick little review of how I think their support is. So the main way to contact DistroKid is by submitting a support ticket through the contact form at distrokid.com forward slash contact. They also have an FAQ or what's called a knowledge base over there with commonly asked questions and answers that you can use to get the answers quicker by yourself. I should also mention that a secondary way to get in touch with them is via Twitter. So when trying to contact DistroKid, you will notice that like most companies, they try their darn hardest to redirect you to their FAQ or the knowledge base at every single time, and they try to bury the contact information as much as possible. Uh, the reason that they do this is they feel, they feel that it makes it quicker for you to find answers to common questions yourself, and this is true. Another reason is that it reduces the amount of support tickets that their customer support agents need to go through. And before I continue, I wanted to let you know that I've also written an article on this topic, so if you like to read along or if you simply prefer the written word format, simply Google Best Friends Club DistroKid Contact. So as I mentioned earlier, the main way to contact DistroKid is by submitting a support ticket uh, through their contact form at distrokid.com forward slash contact. Uh, and when I mentioned this earlier that they try their hardest to redirect you to the FAQ, I was not lying. The main place you can find the contact form link is actually in an FAQ article itself that is titled, My question isn't in the FAQ, how can I contact DistroKid? On top of this, at the time of writing this article, there are two links in the general FAQ in that article in addition to five other FAQ links to common questions in that article as well. So I'll quickly give you a run through of this. So by typing in distrokid.com forward slash contact, you can bypass some of the FAQ article digging that you're going to have to do, but there still are some tricks that you're going to want to do. So it takes you to this submit a request page, then you're going to want to click a uh, category. So for this example, we'll just click something like, uh, managing music and profile in stores. There's a bunch of different categories that you can select. So pick the one that's most appropriate. Uh, then it'll most likely give you another contact form. Then click whatever is most relevant to your request again. So in this instance, I am going to click playlist submission. Then you'll see that they'll actually try to answer the question first right here in this gray box. And there may be more forms that you need to fill out, especially if you're trying to do something specific, like you need to type in your DistroKid IRC code or anything like that. However, after following these steps, you'll finally see the email us button. You can click that and then it'll show you the contact form. So you can put in your email address, the subject profile links if you need to. Uh, and it may show some different fields depending on what you are, what you have selected here. Uh, and then finally, you can type in the description of your question right here and show that you're not a robot submit any attachments and click submit and then it'll actually submit a support ticket over to DistroKid. So as you can see there's quite a few hoops that you need to jump through to finally get in touch with them but after that point once you've emailed them they will be able to send emails to you directly and you could respond to those emails right within your inbox. So you might be wondering can you actually contact them or email them directly? The answer to that question is no. You cannot contact or email DistroKid directly. Uh, you have to contact them through that contact form method that I showed you earlier or you can hit them up on Twitter. After submitting a ticket with DistroKid, you'll notice that replies are coming from an email called support at DistroKid. And also from researching this topic, I noticed that there's a data tweet that was sent in 2017 that mentions this email address. Basically, they said, please email support at DistroKid.com for help with this. So naturally, you might be wondering if you can use that email address to contact DistroKid directly. But however, when sending a brand new email to this email address in January 2021, this is the automatic reply uh, that I got asking me to resubmit my request using the contact form. So unfortunately, no, you cannot contact DistroKid directly via the general support email address. Moving on, you might be wondering if DistroKid has a phone number. DistroKid does not have a publicly available phone number on their website. Uh, it's very clear that they prefer that you contact them via the contact form on the FAQ or by tweeting them on Twitter. However, there is a phone number listed on DistroKid's profile on the Better Business Bureau website. Over here, I have a screenshot of that contact information. I'm not going to say it out loud. I don't know if they actually want you to contact you here, but I'm going to put it here anyways, just in case. So here it is. Um, and if you're wondering if they have a 1-800 number, Discord does not have a 1-800 number. And if you're wondering what their address is, also you can see what they have listed here as their address on the Better Business Bureau. Although I do not know if this is confirmed or not, I'm just putting it out there as the research that I've done for you. So how good is the DistroKid FAQ? 
The DistroKid FAQ is a knowledge base of frequently asked questions about the DistroKid service and music distribution that can be visited at distrokid.zendesk.com forward slash hc forward slash en dash us. At the time of writing this, the DistroKid FAQ is broken down into these sections, the basics, uploading music, store specific, account admin, and getting paid. Although it can be annoying that DistroKid seems to try to push you to this FAQ whenever you're trying to contact them, their FAQ is actually pretty useful and can be a good way to find the answers to yourself. And definitely doing it that way is a lot faster than having to wait through the whole support system process. And if you're asking a question that's on the FAQ anyways, in most cases, the support agent's just gonna link you back to the FAQ because the answer is perfectly written there anyways. So lastly, I wanted to give just at least my opinion on how good I think the DistroKid customer support is. So in my opinion, I think the DistroKid customer support is actually pretty good. There's been a couple times where I've had to ask about technical issues and they've been very quick to respond and very polite and professional and very informative as well. And then even when I've been asking questions about like just confirming how things work. I remember I was asking about collaborations. So how you can make it so when you collaborate, you show up in the discography for both artists or the other method where you can show in the appears on. There's a couple different ways and it was just clarifying something and they were still very helpful even in that as well. Also on top of this, if you're a Reddit user, it is worth noting that the founder of DistroKid actually chimes in from time to time. I'm not sure if he still does this, but uh, he's definitely answered quite a few questions before and he seems pretty down to earth and very helpful as well. And also they're very active on Twitter, even though I've never actually contacted them and asked for support via Twitter. But in general, my interactions with the customer support agents have been really pleasant to be honest, and I get the impression that they're knowledgeable and actually care. So with that said, hopefully you found this video useful. Good luck in contacting DistroKid and good luck on your next release. If you found this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, my friend. See you later.